and how old the valve index is and people still kind of foresee that or kind of see that as the the pinnacle of vr and they still use that headset and there was a conversation i think on youtube that i, I saw uh yesterday or the day before about mm -hmm. um the valve index was still kind of the kind of the it headset which is not it's it's not at all it's so dated it, it in the comments it's 10 it's a 10 year you, you had said it was a 10 year old headset this is not a hate thing but or like a getcha but i i just i was surprised how many people or how how the the conversation went with the valve index and the 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 resolution and the tech and stuff where the quest 2 mm -hmm. was such a great great headset at, for at, at the time and now we've got the quest 3 and the 3s and that's just come so far from yeah. what that headset is and people are still praising the valve index yeah i that, mean it was it's 2019 so it's five years old oh five, okay 2019. Yeah, five, five, five years old is the valve index yeah but people i think don't just they just don't realize because i don't know the the quest thing just has this stigma about it is but and I, I don't know why, other than the fact that it's just PC VR. I think what happened, what, here's, here's what I'm going to say. PC VR had the market, and they really had a lot of steam in their engines. Okay, we're, we're the big bads. Mm -hmm. We've got the GPUs. We've got the big games. We've got the Steam library. And then when the Valve Index came along, it took, took advantage of all that stuff. Right. It took advantage of the IR tracking and took advantage of the, the nice Knuckles controllers. And people just flipped out, self-included, flipped out over the Knuckles controllers. And now you've got really, really good hand tracking with the Quest 3 and the and the Quest 3S to the point where it's like a Valve, if you put on a set of Valve Knuckles and then actually like use the hand track in the Quest 3 and tell me honestly which one you think is better. It's just, it just is. It's just better. Like, because it's five years technology advancement. Yep. Right? Yeah. That's just how technology works. Is I, I know that it was good for the time, but it's just not good anymore. And the other thing, too, is, and the reason we got to talking about this, I'm recalling this conversation a little bit now, is <laughs> the reason we got to talking about this was because you get the resolution bros in, in the comments on the Fix My Oculus, like TikTok and YouTube, right. talking about, oh, well, yeah, but the Quest 3 and the Quest 3S have really crappy resolution compared to my my headset i've got the valve index or i've got the htc vive pro 2 or i've you know i've got the psvr 2 or whatever whatever your resolution bro headset of the week is they've got it and they think that the quest 3 sucks or the quest 3s sucks and it's like actually i've got the numbers pulled up the quest 3s has about 25 percent more pixels per square inch than the valve index does so yeah for the time it was really good it's yeah. not that good anymore I do want to touch on your thoughts, or not necessarily your thoughts, but what you had said earlier. Uh, I think Quest just had a, a negative stigma to it, to it, and I don't, I'm not sure why that was. I think maybe, maybe it was the PC VR thing. Yeah. And I think that when we initially, because we we bought the Quest One when it first came out, and I think it just wasn't that cool. It the idea and the concept was cool, but it just hadn't come, hadn't come as far. And so I know yeah. they were just kind of launching it and in in. in and getting into the market, I, I know they had the other Quest headsets before the the Go, and so I think they're starting to kind of come up in the market. Obviously, they're dominating the market now. Yeah. But I think at that time there was definitely some uh, negative st stigmatisms there. Now we're seeing they are just they are leading one in price, and the two in quality as far yeah. as you know whether whether it's resolution or just. Um, playability on the headset itself i i really feel like it's it's a two-pronged maybe three-pronged weapon mm -hmm. which is one the pc vr and the pc people who were really kind of helping push vr early on were really big proponents of the pc vr systems and so that gave the early quests sort of a negative stigma i think the other thing is that it's always been associated with meta and facebook yeah you know yeah that's, that's one of those that's one of those great <laughs> lies about the about the oculus quest the like the original the og the black one mm -hmm. with the cloth around it is like oh well, i've got i've got the oculus quest before meta meta started producing them before facebook bought them out blah 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 it's like no that one was produced by by facebook too like yeah. like they've all been produced by facebook the actually let's Let's look it up because I, I never, I don't want to, I don't want to misspeak on this, but I feel like I've recited enough times to know, but I don't want to misspeak anyway. So, so Facebook purchased Oculus in 2014. Oh, here we go. Google AI is going to feed it to me. 
The Oculus Rift was March 2016. Mm-hmm. The Oculus Touch was December 2016. The Oculus Go was 2018. The Oculus Quest and the Rift S were 2019. The Quest 2 was 2020. So which one of those headsets was made before Facebook bought Oculus? They were... They none, were of them none of them were. None of them 